What's up, everybody? It's your boy Vest with MachineMaster.com, and you got it locked to another episode of Rhythm and Beats, where we bring you live instrumentation over sample-based beats. Check us out. Okay, so for my sample, um, I used the uh, Marvelous Breaks 5 um, Give Me 81 BPM, and I was going to use the music in it, but I really liked how the percussion really stood out. And again, like, I mean, this, this piece was incredibly and put together. Marv did a great job here, but just that percussion really stuck out, so I used that instead. Okay, so right here I laid the Alicia's Keys pianos, and I'm really going for that, that 70s influence. I would think like Bill Cotney, and if you don't know who he is, he, he is the original composer for Rocky uh, 1, 2, and 3, Gonna Fly Now, and the uh, training montages. And please, no, I don't claim to be anywhere in this guy's league. But it is okay to be inspired by someone else's work. <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm, I'm using Virtual Percussion Technology, MIDI Triggering uh, Superior Drummer 3. Um, the idea behind this is I didn't want to just lay it on the keys. You know, I really wanted to play the drums through to give it an authentic feel on the tom-toms, the snare, the hi-hats, and all of that. Or to just really to bring the, the uh, drums and machine more to life, you know, to actually give them more of a... Um, an acoustic feel, if I may say. Uh, Superior Drummer 3 is incredible for like layering. If you do like hip hop, jazz, R&B, if you just need to lay just like real sounding drums, you can use that. Okay, so right here I wanted to add a violin, and um, I made it a point to automate it to try to really give it a, a authenticity to it, so it just doesn't sound like just some random string just playing. So, I mean, again, you know, not a know-it-all, but um, it's important to also study and understand like how to how to lay strings, like play a violin like a violin, play a cello like a cello, like that's very important because nothing sounds crazier than using strings in a way that it doesn't sound authentic. And like I said, hey, I'm still learning too.
build diversity in your sound. The only real way I know to really build a diverse sound is by listening to other types of music. It was taught to me a long time ago, like if you really want to have a, a large volume of sound, like don't just listen to Top 40 radio. So for me, I listen to a lot of film score work, like uh, Hans Zimmerman, uh, Bill Cotney. These guys are like very influential as far as helping me to, to understand how different instruments are played and understanding lead lines, how to use sounds to support, you know, and all of that. These are very important things in building library. So for example, if all you make is trap and you don't listen to nothing but trap, when that season changes, you could be left behind. So it, it is important to, to not just be a one-trick pony, but also be able to do different things, like listen to gospel, country, rock, jazz, uh, opera, uh, watch, watch movies and listen to the film score work. Put on your headphones and say, you know what, I'm going to listen to something completely different outside of where I am. And watch, you're going to start finding yourself growing and growing and even practice, like recreate those songs that you like that are not of the specific genre of strength and you'll notice that little by little you'll find growth and a diversity in your sound. Well that's pretty much it. Don't forget to follow me right here and don't forget to subscribe to MachineMasters.com for great kits and great tutorials. Keep creating. Peace.